written at the beginning of May or late April. Right. And with the way she had her injuries, it was purely that she couldn't balance and she couldn't use her legs and yes. her feet were totally clenched. Yes. Um, so because she also had um, little like crackling and things through her chest and yes. pelvis, I thought that it oh, was... Oh, so she had a split here, yeah, down the front, yeah, yeah right, so I, injury. Yeah, I thought she was probably a concussed bird right. rather than anything else. She'd Although she could have done that because she couldn't have landed on her feet, so ah. she could have been paralysed before yeah. and then... I see a major complication of the feet paralysis, which is that she's got huge ulcers on oh, on her no. heels or on the, on the... Oh, yes. Right? And, yeah. and they're deeply infected and involving the joint. And they make the prognosis for recovery a lot less uh, than it might otherwise be. Yes, um, those... So we're just going to see... Hi, Sweetie. Hi, Dusty. You tell me this one's got a good thing? Oh, yes. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, um, baby. Yeah, she started walking around on basically her stumps when we had her feet splintered. Right, right so that's just showing the camera. Oh, God. Right, so that's a yeah. huge, huge pressure sore ulcer. Oh, and it's awful. deeply infected. And yeah. it's, it's basically uh, chewing into the, the extensor tendon, the tendon that goes from down here around the back of the joint and up the back of the leg. Um, and it may have already rotted through that. I do not oh. know. Um, but I didn't at this stage, that it but anyway, so bad. this one is not so bad. But that yeah. one's awful, right? Oh, no. Right. So it needs. Um, anyway, with this little birdie, I'm going to do some physiotherapy and just have a a bit of a feel. I'll just have a general check of her. her body mass is good. Mm -hmm. um, her uh, liver is just in under the breastbone. Um, I'm not feeling any abdominal distension. Um, the vent is a little bit soiled. It's probably not from standing up far enough away from the dropping sometimes when she squirts. Yeah. All right, just having a look. Yeah. Uh, wings a bit frayed. You know what that's about? Yeah. Um, okay, she's just struggling around. Um, she's got a. but she's also got um, a fork bone coming down about two millimetres from the, from the junction with the nostril. Yeah. Right, so it's not only a ding on, a ding on the front of the beak, but yeah. she's also got a, a zone coming down behind it, indicating problems there. Um, okay. All right, sweetie. You're a squawker. You're a squawker. Right, using towels is um, far better than gloves. Yeah. Then to restrain these little birdies. So we're just going to do that, and I'm just going to secure her somewhere here. I can do it just here, maybe. And just keep my wrist across there. Get the branch out of the way a bit. Is that all right? Can you see what we're doing there? Not quite. Watch it, baby. Watch it, little one. You're all right. Okay. So we can now start exploring what we can do in terms of physiotherapy and just getting the, mm. seeing what, what's actually happened to these feet. Oh, so it's not too bad. I'm not having to, that one is quite flexible. It hasn't fused up yet. So it's going back into the normal position. Okay. This one doesn't want to quite go back to the normal position. Okay. Um, and the front ones um, are a bit stiff, but it'll only take a, a few minutes work to get them Okay. back in the degree of flexibility but mm -hmm. with the feet the first things that I would normally do is is to splint the feet in the open position right yeah. and I'd leave them like that for about 10 days yeah that, right? um, that was done twice that's been done twice yeah. and it's come back has um, it yeah Howard did those right. The, right. her feet now are infinitely better than right. when she came in well I would keep doing that but then I'd be doing a lot of physiotherapy so I'd be doing this okay. bicycling business yep Right, so because we, with the foot open, right? So yep. if you don't want to splint it, you can, but you need to do a lot of this, mm. a lot of this. So it's four, five, six times a day. Oh, yeah. With the, with the, and, and your 
you've got the foot in the open position with the toes back. Yep. Right, so you're doing that. That's okay, um, I can do that. And you need to strengthen up all the, the muscles of the legs and try and get things going. So, mm -hmm. um, But I, w I would still be inclined to, uh, between physio, either putting a light strip of taping around here, you could use sticky mm -hmm. tape and she might leave it there for half an hour and then chew it off, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Um, or you could use the vet wrap. Yep. Um, but you can tape these toes to the leg itself. Oh, right? okay. Yep. Just there and there. Yep. And um, and and keep doing that. Uh, that's the first thing I would be doing. Okay. Right. So that's on that one. As far as this pressure saw goes, mm -hmm. um, it should have a. Um, if she's still sitting on the area where I suspect yeah. she is, I, it should have a dressing on it. Um, and then it should have some, um, well, I would normally use what I call stinky paint, which I think I've told you about before, mm. which is a mixture of anti-inflammatory pain relieving antibiotic mm, that goes good. topically on there. Yep. And, and, um, and we may use some bee relieved oil in the future if yep. she's right. So that's that one. So, but anyway, that needs a dressing on it to be protected. Mm. So. I'm inclined to put a dressing on that foot mm -hmm. with the with the toes back, mm -hmm. and then um, you then apply um, the the stinky paint onto the dressing where it's going to soak through okay. to there. All right. Yep. That's number one. Yep. Now with this leg, um, there is a l more restriction in the extension here. Mm -hmm. I can bend this past 108, uh, past 90 degree angle, but it didn't want to go, but we're just going to work on that first of all. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move that and get, so we want to do that on both legs, all right? So mm -hmm. here's this one. And you've got any of your other birds you can do as a comparison mm -hmm. to see what normal is, but both of these joints are restricted in that movement, yeah. right? Now with this one, You've got the front toes tending to go right forward as well, mm -hmm. um, but they're not too bad because I can, not like the, I put up a galar on um, on YouTube um, with a clenched foot mm -hmm. um, during the week and it's now on YouTube under Dr. Ross Perry. Okay. Um, and you'll see that and you'll see me doing lots of physiotherapy. It had been, oh. had a clenched foot for six months Ooh. and it's now, working well but Excellent. this one needs some pressure on this joint closest to the foot yep. to extend the it's that joint there that is the tightest okay and we want to really free that up and 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 um, help it along right into the mm -hmm. open position so that's where you where you're placing the movement mm -hmm. um, this one the inside toe is doing all the right things, right? Ah, good. So that's going okay. It needs mm -hmm. a bit of lubrication. Mm -hmm. You can feel a little bit of grating or clicking in it, mm. right? But that's because it needs some lubrication, needs some work. Mm -hmm. I very often give birds like this um, some glyconutrients mm -hmm. uh, as well, that the same ones that I take myself. I'm not allowed to mention the name of them on um, camera. Uh, I'm not allowed to, but anyway, they're a patented human supplement that contains all eight essential sugars for cellular communication. Okay. And I've we'll get used that product off label them. in dogs, cats, possums, birds, myself. Yep. And um, it seems to help the body recover from a whole host of different things. It's not the be all and end all, but it supports recovery. Oh, sounds good to me. So lots of physiotherapy like that, mm -hmm. and then we'll just get a dressing for this foot and um, a little splint for that one at least as we're going to have a dressing on, so yeah. we might as well do some more work on that one. And what about this? The poop and the vent? Oh no, I mean the other, like the other sort of stump that she's using. This one, one yeah. has just got a little pressure sore on it, it's very much uh, smaller than the other one, okay. and it's not completely